Uh, be like everybody else. Hello, YouTube fans. I have a very rare military Marine Corps receiver. It's called a AN slash MRR 2. It is a, a prototype because it has the letter designation XN 1. You can't see it on the tag, but trust me, this is a serial number one receiver. I'm quite sure that none of you is. I'm hoping maybe one of you has seen this before, but it was made by the RCA company and it was used in the military. I have a friend, his name's Nick, that told me he has a website that I will, I will put in my little print up on the bottom of the video. Um, his website, he helped me out somewhat on this receiver. He's the one who told me about the the fact that it's a prototype and it's a serial one. So, being a prototype, I don't know if there's any of these out there. Now, the story is, my I had an electronic school teacher who was a good friend through the years, and he passed away. Uh, he had all these military receivers. Some of them I bought, but some of them were his. And I don't know where he got this. I don't know when he bought it. I have no idea where it even came from. I just know that it's a prototype. Right now I have it on the shortwave band uh, around uh, 35,000 kilohertz. And I'm trying to get a ham operator in. So we'll see if we can tune in. I had someone here just a few seconds ago. Here we go. I am in pretty good. I mean, I could play with it a little bit more and bring him in more. But now you can see that the, the BFO definitely works on this receiver. Now, it's really good on the AM band for D-Action. Shortwave anymore is a lot of which I have nothing against religion. Uh, they have a lot of religious stations. Now, a lot of the programming that used to be on shortwave you know, has gone away. I'm not going to go into details of why and how. So what I want to do here is I'm going to switch it over to broad. I'll, I'll leave it on sharp. I have my neighbor's Christmas lights interfering, but with sharp I have a filter on there to eliminate the noise. And we're going to switch to the AM band. By the way, this goes from low uh, to the, the uh, uh, low band It'll go from uh, AM 250 on the AM band from 250 kilohertz cycles all the way up to 1700 kilohertz cycles. Now, we'll, there, there's a, I'm going to have him take his camera over here. And this Dallas projection screen, and it's a really neat setup. In fact, actually, I'll even let him play around with it if he wants. But. You can see my hand there, I'm moving, you can see the digits here, that they're moving. And as far as the camera itself, it may not pick up your screen here, but up here it tells you how many kill cycles and the direction that you're at. The main thing is, it's very selective, it picks up a lot of channels. And it's a very rare receiver. I don't want to bore you all to death, but here's my other receivers. I'm sure that some of you will know what they are. And anyhow, not professional, but this is a very rare receiver. MRR-2, uh, MR XN-1, very rare. I cannot find no information on it, if anybody knows anything about it. Uh, let me know in the comments.
and sorry it's not really that professional but uh, I'm new at this maybe later on when I put other videos on I'll get a little bit better at it um, here's some other radios in my room that I've collected through the years you can recognize some of them um, they're all old I've been doing this for a long time and uh, I have a very small room so everything's crammed up I'm not fortunate enough to have the nice places a lot of radio collectors have but this is my shack messy as it is and this is the end of the video